Welcome back to 30 by 30, my vlog where I do 30 things before I turn 30 years old. In this week's episode, we are doing 21 puzzles in 2021. And the first thing I did was I asked social media which puzzle I should do first. And you all decided on the hot air balloon puzzle. So that's what I did. It was a lot of fun. It was super colorful. The only problem that I had that it was missing a lot of pieces. So I reached out to the company and they actually let me pick a, another puzzle out because they didn't have this one in stock. So we'll see that one later down the road, see what I picked. Next up, I went to Gatlinburg last year for my 29th birthday and believe it or not, this cabin that we rented had a ton of puzzles inside. So I actually did two on the trip. This first one was a donut puzzle I did with my friends Alex and Jesse. And of course it had a couple missing pieces, but as expected with being in a rental. It was also Super Bowl weekend, so while everyone watched the game, I also worked on a puzzle. My friends tried to one-up me and do this kitty cat puzzle, but they never finished, and I did. <laughs> All right, the fourth puzzle I did was actually sent to me by my big sister, Ashley. And it's the second puzzle. It was really fun to do. I sorted out all the pieces, of course, did the border on one tray, and then I had all of the like different succulents in other trays and on the table. And because they were in other trays, I was actually able to take them and watch TV while I did it. But I started putting them together, and before you knew it, I finished the puzzle. And then I shipped it on to another friend from ESA. Next up is sending this puzzle to a friend. I really like this joke I just made. I like to think of this puzzle like the sisterhood of the traveling pants, only instead of pants, it's plants. <laughs> so we're gonna send this off to Caitlin because no one wants to do the same puzzle twice. Happy puzzling, Caitlin. The fifth puzzle I did was actually sent to me by another ESA sister, Stephanie, and her only requirement, because she didn't finish it, she said, I'll send this to you, but you have to send me a picture once you finish it. I was like, I can totally do that. So I got to work on this. It did take me a little bit of time. I learned a ton about all the different types of dogs. I feel like I know them all now. I also learned a little bit more about St. Bernard. So my mom has a St. Bernard and I texted her a picture and asked her what the barrel meant. And she actually told me that they were bred as rescue dogs that dug people out of the snow in the mountains. And the, the legend was that the barrel carried whiskey to help keep the people warm after saving them. So that was super cool to learn. I finished the puzzle, sent a picture to Steph, and then on to the next one, which was a peacock. I actually finished this puzzle in one night. It was 141 pieces, but the catch was that there were a lot of different crescents that fit different ways. So I started with the head and then did the border, and I got a little tripped up on some of the pieces, some of the crescent pieces, but I was able to slowly but surely, actually pretty quickly finish it, and it was done within like an hour. <laughs> The next day I actually started a button puzzle and I got this one from the Dollar Tree. So Dollar Tree has puzzles, they're like 300 pieces which is awesome, they're only a dollar. The pieces are a little bit flimsy but I mean for what it's worth, you're spending a dollar, it was not bad at all. So I did the border, did the insides, the colors really made it fun and easy to put together. Before you knew it, another one was done. All right, my next puzzle, my dad actually sent this to me, total surprise, and it's a puzzle of a farmer's market, which he loves farmer's markets, and he actually used to work at one. So I decided that once I finished it, I was totally going to give this back to him as a gift. So I framed it and I gave it to him on Father's Day, and he like absolutely loved it and totally has it hanging up in his apartment today. If you remember back to the beginning of the video, I got to choose a puzzle from the one that was missing pieces. So I found two different puzzles that I liked and I put a poll on Instagram to see which one I should get. And even though most people like the bottom one best, I got, I've got a feeling this is another puzzle. This is the one that was missing like 15 pieces that they shipped me. I literally took a Saturday and just went to town, had a blast, finished it in one day. And the coolest part about this puzzle is that it was like a two part. Not only did you get to do the puzzle, but it also had a scavenger hunt that went with it. So I also did that and I looked around and I found all the things that were in the puzzle. And then I realized that like someone else has got to have fun with this. So I did what my friend Maria taught me. Right here are all the border pieces. Maria taught me, well, she sent me a puzzle and she had done this. And I think it's brilliant 
put all the border pieces in a little baggie. We're gonna put this in the box and then whoever gets it can start with the border. And then if they really want to do it like traditionally, they can mix it back in. But it's just a nice little head start, especially for this puzzle because there were some border pieces that did not look like border pieces. And then I shipped it to my elementary school gym teacher who loves puzzles and then asked her to ship it to one of my nonprofit friends that loves puzzles too. My 10th puzzle was a very special puzzle. It was actually part of a four puzzle collection and one of the puzzles was a Pooh Bear puzzle. So this is very special to our family. It reminds us of Justin's mom. So I actually, Justin and I actually did this one together and then we gave this to his grandma for her birthday gift and oh my gosh, she loved it. I got a frame for it and just wait until you see her reaction when she opens it. Oh, oh. oh my head. So that's the one that me and Justin did together. And I thought you would, we thought you'd like it framed. Oh, yes. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> oh. Oh, I do. Oh, I could cry. Aww. <laughs> Isn't that neat? Seriously, such a special moment. Okay, now a little intermission for puzzles that I didn't do this year, but our story's worth sharing. Justin's grandma actually got pretty hooked on puzzles this year too. She got several from the Dollar Tree like this one, and I helped her do some when I was in town. We also figured out what tournament we would be going to for Justin's baseball team together. She tackled this thousand piece puzzle, which was awesome. And it was so fun to help her do a little bit of it, but honestly she did most of it, including putting the very last piece pieces in. That well, goes where? The last two. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's me. You got it. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. And... I told you I don't. I think that one goes up top. Yep. Okay. Yep, and then the last one. Woo! <laughs> you got it. <laughs> nice. Look at oh, that. Yeah. Look at that. Hey, you didn't even lose a piece. <laughs> the other favorite puzzle this year was this UK puzzle that someone at work had gifted to her, which she absolutely loved. So much we got a frame for it, and this one is also proudly displayed in her house. All right, you guys know that I had a treasure shop, and at Gillies they had so many fun finds, and I actually found this Sesame Street puzzle, which was my best friend, Riley. I gave her her first puzzle, and it matched the book I gave her from Frank's collection. And then Maria, who I work with down, she lives down in Florida. She sent me a bunch of puzzles that I have yet to get to, but I am so excited to get to these later this year. All right, intermission over, back to the next 10, 11 puzzles. One weekend, my friend Jesse and I went shopping at Big Lots of All Places, and I found two more puzzles, just what I needed when I had a closet full of puzzles. But I did these, they were so fun. This first one was a fruit puzzle and I literally, it took me the length of the NCAA National Championship to complete. The next was the attic puzzle and it was so much fun. I literally finished it in like two days. Other thing that I really liked about this puzzle is they had jumbo pieces, so it was really easy to put together. Over the summer, I feel like my puzzles slowed down, but when my friend Marissa was in town, we totally broke out the million dollar puzzle. I of course had to order this because what's more fun way to gamble than do a puzzle? So it was really cool because you completed a QR code and then at the end, once you completed it, you got to scan it and then it told you what you won. And we won a big 25 cents, enough to buy a gumball. The really cool thing Marissa does is she has like a puzzle wall and so she's been putting puzzle paste on them and then saving them and hanging them on her wall. So we did that for her to take back home with her on her way back to Texas. This next puzzle was actually sent to me by a coworker, his name's Patrick. He found this puzzle when he was on vacation and it was so sweet that he thought of me and shipped this to our office. So I, once I got it, I sent him a little note and then I got to work and the coolest, kind of craziest thing about this puzzle is that 
the box does not match the like what that puzzle actually is so the dogs are out of order but I was able to do it without cheating he did tell me if I needed a cheat sheet that he would happily send me a picture so I could see the final product because they had a picture of it in the gift shop where he bought it but I finished it no problem and then we actually decided that we would make this the traveling puzzle and I sent it to Maria and then she, when she finishes it, she is gonna pass it on to Patrick and we will just keep it going. On to Florida. It's October and I was getting to the place where I needed a quick win. So I found this 36 piece puzzle in the dollar section at Target and totally bought it because I'm like, I'm gonna do this. It'll be super quick. And then I sent this to Justin's grandma and she really enjoyed it too. You may remember in October, I dressed up as mac and cheese for Halloween. And I had this cheese puzzle sitting in my closet for a long time. And I was like, you know what? This is the perfect cheesiest time to do this puzzle. And then one of my friends lives in Wisconsin, the cheese date. So I totally sent it to her once I finished it. And the perfect thing is she got it on the day that her dad was going into surgery. So it was really special that she got it on that day. It's December y'all and I have five more puzzles to do before the end of the year. So I did a couple quick wins, puzzle 17, puzzle 18, and puzzle 19 to get me a little bit more cut up to speed. These were 200 piece puzzles, super fun. Found them at the Target dollar section. Okay, I love doing this next puzzle. It is a Disney Christmas Mickey Minnie, all of his friends puzzle and when I did this puzzle I actually turned the TV and I watched a lot of Christmas shows except for the one time I watched Justin's basketball but it was so much fun to kind of get in the holiday spirit by watching those shows and doing this puzzle and I really thank you Mac my co-worker who let me borrow this puzzle and these are just a couple close-ups in case Steel needs a little cheat sheet because I know she was like I've been working on this puzzle for weeks there you go Steel this next puzzle here was randomly sent to me. I had no idea who sent it. It was actually funny because it came around the same time of Justin and I's anniversary and he kept thinking that I got him a puzzle for our anniversary. But I soon found out that it was my good friend from back home, Bree. It was seriously the sweetest thing because I was kind of going through a little rough patch and she sent me this puzzle and it was so beautiful. I was very excited to do it, but I will say I had no idea this would be the hardest puzzle I would do this year and I saved it for the last day of the year to complete. All right, it's uh, 1226 and I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I'm a little nervous because my puzzle, I've got less than 12 hours and I might have 150 pieces done to this thousand piece puzzle. Everything's fine. It's gonna be great. I have a backup plan in case I can't finish this one in time. <laughs> as much as I tried the whole day, I just came to terms about 8 p.m. that I was not gonna get this puzzle finished. So I implemented the backup plan, which involved a micro puzzle that I got for Christmas. It looks like me, it's so freaking cute. Just in case I don't make it. Annie, you're up next. It literally took me three, two, one, done. 30 minutes to finish. Manuel, are you so proud of your mama for finishing the 21st puzzle? And it's a you! And a Santa hat! And even though I didn't finish the big, beautiful, what I thought would be 21st puzzle that night, I actually finished it a couple days into the new year, which was perfect. I watched 13 going on 30, and literally as the movie ended, the puzzle was complete. I ended up doing my 22nd puzzle in 2022, and this vlog is the 22nd vlog. So I love a good number theme, and that is a wrap.